Very quick video here for you folks as the New York Mets pitch their second ever no-hitter. This one, a combined no-hitter. Five different pitchers come out and combine for the no-hitter as uh, Tyler McGill, Drew Smith, Seth Lugo, Jolie Rodriguez, and Edwin Diaz all combined to no-hit the Philadelphia Phillies. An impressive feat for many reasons, not just the fact that it was a combined no-hitter, but think about this, 159 pitches, Going up against the Philadelphia Phillies, a lineup that has a lot of power in it, from Bryce Harper to JT Romuto, Nick Castellanos, Kyle Schwarber, a lot of power in it, and a Philadelphia team that just annihilated the Colorado Rockies over the last four days, uh, scoring seven or more runs in each of those four games as they had gotten back to 500. And the Mets needed 159 pitches. They found themselves in nine full counts, walked six batters, and still found a way to not give up a single base hit. Yes, no hitters. When you think of no, we all think of no hitters. We think of it as a certainly an individual effort. That's usually how. Uh, these things get most remembered, but there's always that rare chance you get a combined no-hitter. We saw the Mariners do it several years ago. We saw the Astros do it to the Yankees several years ago. It's a great team accomplishment from that standpoint. And I just said team accomplishment, and that's really been the, the, the story of the first month for the Mets. As we end the month of April, this team is 15-6. and six. They are in first place in the NL East by... Let's just take a look at their standings very quickly. First place uh, in, ahead of Miami of all teams by three games, ahead of Atlanta and Philadelphia by five games. Uh, they have done an outstanding job, as we all know, here in the first month of the season. And the biggest key, of course, of all, as it goes unstated, of course, with this video, no hitter, is the pitching. The pitching has been outstanding. First couple weeks, the bullpen wasn't pitching that great. They've obviously pitched a little bit better of late. And, uh, of course, the starting pitching has been phenomenal up to this point. Max Scherzer, Carlos Carrasco, even though he got lit up the other day. Um, Tyler McGill has been incredible so far to start the season. He is 4-0. Chris Bassett has also been fantastic uh, at, at starting for this Mets team. They have all been terrific. And as we move now into May, uh, this team has put itself in a position where you can start to say, you start to think that this team could start moving forward and contending. And what you really have to like about this team as you move forward against a long season, folks, you know, you have a long way to go until September and October. But what you have to like about this team is that, again, as I said in the last couple of videos on the Mets, this team plays like a team. This team plays unified. This team plays for each other. Uh, and there's no better way to exp to express that than with a combined no-hitter as we saw last night thrown by this New York Mets team. There's so, many, there's so many superlatives and adjectives you can use to describe this first month. Now we got to find out if they can keep it going. Can they stay healthy? Can this offense, which at times has been a little bit sluggish, but uh, for the most part, when they've had the need to flex their muscle, they have. Of course, Francisco Lindor and Pete Alonso have both gotten off to very hot starts to the season. Can this offense continue to pick it up? Can this pitching continue to, to pitch at an incredible level? And that's going to be the key. Can they stay healthy and can they continue to pitch at an astronomically incredible level? Uh, we don't know, certainly don't know when Jacob deGrom is going to get back. Of course, the MRIs have been encouraging that he is healing. And once you get him back probably towards the middle of the season, that just adds another piece, another layer, another piece to what is a very deep starting rotation. So one month in, we have seen a lot of great stories here with the Mets. We've seen now a no-hitter. We have seen a team that's in first place. We have seen a team that plays for one another. We see a team that feels a lot differently than what we've seen in years past it just has that it has that special feel and probably you haven't had that feel this early in the season probably since 2006 with the Mets when they started off 16 and 6 that year and you thought man there's something about this team they could do something special and of course they went on to have a great year it fell short in the NLCS we'll see how how, how much success this team this year this year's version the Buck Showalter led Mets will have but this uh, no-hitter, a, a, a major headline in a first month full of positive steps forward, uh, positive headlines forward for a team that feels 
like it's got a lot of magic to it here in 2022. Like and subscribe here to the Sports Talk Nation. We'll talk to you next time. I'm Michael Cohen.